Let's take a look at the chart action for Dogecoin. So here's what I'm looking at and here's what I was kind of looking at in my last video. We have this previous bottom right there and a previous bottom right there. I was targeting around .195 and .170. We hit 195 right there. Let's see if we could keep this support. It looks like we're getting a little bounce right there. Let's see if we could keep this support going. If we zoom into the four hour time frame, it looks like we have kind of a triangle pattern, something like that. We have resistance, 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 and then we have support, 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 support. I'm watching this triangle pattern, something like this. Let's see if we break to the upside or to the downside. I think if we break to the upside, we could target from the top to the bottom of this triangle, drag that to the breakout, and we're looking at a target of around .226, something like that, and that lines up with this previous resistance right here. I think if we break to the downside though, like I said, I'll be targeting this .170, which is the previous bottom somewhere around here at least it's the previous bottom on the daily can on the daily time frame over here you can see that that's where the bottom of the body is or the yeah so yeah i'll be watching 170 which is kind of an also a psychological level and then on the four hour time frame you can see it we have a downtrend something like this i think if we could break that downtrend going to the upside we're going to see a nice little move maybe up to right here or maybe even possibly up to up here which is around dot two five two but I'm not quite sure because the total crypto market cap is looking kind of suspect right now. Let's go check that out. Okay, we're on the total crypto market cap right now. And there's a couple of things, some good things and some bad things that I'm looking at. So the bad thing is we have resistance right here, resistance right here. We have a downtrend going something like that. Until we break this downtrend, in my opinion, going to the upside, I'm assuming that it's going to give us resistance and it's going to keep pushing us down. However, it does look like we are getting support on this 50% level on the Fibonacci retracement. I set up the Fibonacci levels when we broke this trend line. We had a trend going from the top to the bottom right here. Broke that going to the downside right there. And I set up the Fibonacci levels. I've been watching the 38% level and the 50% level. I'll be watching the 61% level too if we break this 50% level. But right now, it looks like we're getting support right here. And the 50% level is right there. So... Basically, we got support on that 50% level. Let's see if we can hold it and let's see if this can be the bottom and we can get a bounce going to the upside and we can finally break this downtrend that we've been trying to break for a while now or that we've been watching for a while now. Okay, so let's check out the moving averages on the total crypto market cap. So we are below on the 9 moving average on the daily time frame right here and above on the 180 moving average. It looks like the 180 moving average is giving us some support. Let's see if we can keep that support going and break through that 9 moving average. If we go to the weekly time frame, this looks kind of scary. We broke through the 9 moving average right here. We got that first candle that broke through and then we closed that candle and then we got another we're getting another red candle going to the downside right now so i do not like the way this is looking on the weekly time frame however if we jump over the monthly time frame we have we're still above the nine moving average on the monthly time frame i definitely do not want to break below this though or i definitely don't want to stay below this if we break below it and stay below it that's going to be i don't know that might be the sign of an actual bear market like right back here this was the previous bear market pretty much that area right there we broke below it right there and ever since then it was a bear market and we kind of went sideways after that pretty much so until we got that until we broke back above it and started kind of just bull running it we broke back above it right here and got that nice little run but we couldn't stay above it we kind of went sideways for a while so yeah i would definitely just like to be above this rather than below this if we're above it it can act as support and if we're below it it can be resistance so yeah, we're going to be really wanting to watch this monthly time frame. If we break below that, that's not going to be a good sign. And if we stay below it, that's going to be even a worse sign. Right now on the weekly time frame, I definitely do not like that. But on the daily time frame, it kind of looks like we're about to test the 9 moving average. So let's see if we can test this downtrend as well. We have a downtrend something like this. Let's see if we could test this downtrend and break through it and start hitting these previous resistances and start getting some higher highs on the total crypto market cap. In general, if this chart is moving up, we can be more bullish on crypto in general. All right, let's jump over to Dogecoin to Bitcoin. 
We watched this chart because you could do trend lines and once they break the trend line to the upside, you can start looking at Dogecoin. And we've been getting these downtrends going something like this. We broke this downtrend, went to the upside right there and we got a nice little move on Dogecoin. Right now we have another little downtrend going like this. Let's see if we can break that going to the upside right here. I've been watching this previous support right here ever since we started trending down over here. So it came down, we got support right there, we got a bounce right there. So this did come in and act as support again. Let's see if it can act as support a third time. What I'm curious though is if it's gonna break this trend line going to the downside. I think if we break this support level, we might be looking at this previous support down here, way low down here. At the same time though, I'm watching this trend line going to the downside. I think if we could break it going to the upside, we might be looking at levels something like this, previous resistance levels. So in general, I'm watching this bottom support line right there and this resistance line right there. Are we going to break to the upside or are we going to break to the downside? I think if we break to the downside, it's going to be a bigger move. And I think if we break to the upside, it's going to be kind of a smaller move possibly because there's a lot of resistance above us. Okay, so if we go back to Dogecoin, like I said, we have this triangle pattern, something like this. I'm watching this downtrend right here. If we could break that going to the upside, then I have some targets laid out, something like this, set around .225, maybe .25. So yeah, we'll be seeing if we could go get those targets. And if we break to the downside, I'll be looking at previous support at .170. Um, if we break this level though, then we might have to zoom out and kind of look for previous support levels. Let's do that real quick. All right, so let's put a horizontal line, something like right here. There's a lot of support right in this area right here. There's a lot of support right in this area right here. So we'd be looking at maybe at around dot zero five, like five cents, something like that. I don't really, I hope that we don't break these levels right here. I don't want to go back down to these levels, but if we do start breaking these ones, we might have to start watching these these previous support levels that we had back in this area over here. But like I said, we're going to be wanting to watch this one first. And I just put a limit order. I just got my limit order filled on this dot one nine five, And I have a limit order set at dot one seven zero, And I'm still holding all my Dogecoin that I've had the whole time that I've been holding it. So I've been trading it in general for a long time. Let's see if... We could get a bounce out of this kind of downtrend that we've had for a while. Dogecoin hasn't been getting as much love in the crypto market as much as a lot of the other coins. So I'm kind of curious if Dogecoin just has to like catch up and kind of just Dogecoin kind of did its own thing for a while. I remember and hopefully it could just kind of do its own thing right now too. I mean the total market cap's not looking great but like some of the coins are doing their own thing like like uh like uniswap is doing pretty good and i know like adam was doing good on certain days and stuff like that certain coins will do good on certain days regardless of what the total market's doing so yeah let's see if this one can kind of catch back up it's kind of starting to hit these lows that we were in before when we came back down we were already when we had this big downtrend we're starting to approach these lows that we were at before so when we got some previous support we got support right here and we got support right here let's see if we can get support again on these levels and get a bounce out of this big downtrend that we've had for a while all right let me know what you guys think if you guys like the video hit that thumbs up button